Retro Rocks Gaming Videos. Hey, Rob here. A couple weeks ago, I switched over the PS3, and as those of you who listen to the podcast, well, both of you who listen to the podcast know, I've had a bit of a problem dealing with the controllers that come with the PS3 stock. Uh, basically, I kind of consider them to be a pain in the ass. Uh, so I've tried a couple things to take care of this. We bought some Afterglow, uh, Afterglow controllers. We tried these out at the Midwest Gaming Classic, and they worked great. However, when we bought them, we went through like three of them in two days, and none of them worked quite right. One of them just died right out of the box, started vibrating, and just sat there vibrating. You couldn't turn it off. Uh, the second one, do you remember what broke on the second one when we returned for you? Not the vibrating one. Nope. It was the one you were using. Oh, it wouldn't fire. The trigger, uh, the trigger went out on it. And then the other one, it never just controlled right. It would just kind of dart left and right willy-nilly. So they were really kind of crappy. I was very disappointed with those things. Uh, so the second solution I tried, this, this worked out pretty good. Pelican makes a product that you can get at Best Buy. Uh, it's basically a uh, trigger kit. And the trigger kit includes... Ah, get it in the camera. Okay. If you notice, the default trigger is very short. And basically, they give you a little piece right here that you snap onto the trigger. It stays really well. That gives you a little bit more distance in the controller. The other thing it includes is this little topper for the sticks. And it only adds about... If it adds an eighth of an inch, I'm surprised, but that eighth of an inch really helps accuracy and it really brought up my KD ratio. And uh, Darlene got the same thing out of it. She liked it a lot better too. So that's a pretty good solution. But if all else fails, and it might, I got this. This without my address on it. That's a little res, you're not going to see it. What this is, is a little adapter that you can plug in your old Xbox 360 controller in. Now this doesn't work with wireless ones. You've got to have a wire, wired one. Pull it out of the package here. It plugs into the USB adapter on the front of your PS3. I've got the new model, so all the uh, USBs are on the front. I don't, I don't really know uh, what the what the layout is for the other PS series. But anyway, mine are in the front. Uh, it's got turbo buttons for each button on the Xbox 360 controller. You plug this side of the USB into the PS3. And then you take your trusty old Xbox 360 controller that's actually built for a man. And you plug it into the back here. And now you can use your Xbox 360 controller on your PS3. Pretty darn neat. Now, I haven't actually tried this thing yet, so I'll let you know later whether it worked fairly well. But it sounds like a good solution to me because uh, even, well, it's a lot better with the extenders, but even so, it is just so tiny next to my big old hands. Anyway, thought you'd like to know about that. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.